And over in Iraq, a political storm is brewing in Baghdad as Iraq's new president names a new prime minister to replace Nuri al-Maliki. The president's move comes after Maliki expressed his will not to step aside the day before. Shin Zemin has the latest. Iraqi President Fouad Masoum has named a new prime minister to end Nouri al-Maliki's eight-year rule, but al-Maliki is refusing to go after deploying special forces on the streets of Baghdad. Speaking on state television Monday, Masoum said he hoped Haider al-Ibadi would succeed in forming a new government that would protect the Iraqi people and unify the country against a growing threat of radical Sunni militants. But the president's public rejection of al-Maliki's bid for third term has raised the stakes in the fierce battle for political control. Al-Ibadi now has 30 days to form a new government that can win parliamentary approval. However, al-Maliki accused Masoum of carrying out a coup against the constitution and the political process. Al-Maliki's Shiite-dominated bloc won the most parliament seats in April's election. U.S. President Barack Obama welcomed Masoum's decision. He said it was an important step on a path toward a more inclusive government that will unite Iraq's different communities. urge all Iraqi political leaders to work peacefully through the political process in the days ahead. Now, this new Iraqi leadership has a difficult task. It, the United States stands ready to support a government that addresses the needs and grievances of all Iraqi people. On the battlefront, Kurdish forces continue their fight against Islamic State militants in the north and west of Iraq with the help of American airstrikes. U.S. aircraft on Monday hit four militant checkpoints and destroyed several of the group's vehicles near Mount Sinjar, where thousands of people of the Yazidi religious sect have taken refuge. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.